Hey everybody, Boomslang here. Welcome back to the channel. It's time for another Filthy Binder Friday. Today's binder is, well, it says 1987 Tops. Uh, yeah, that's what it says right there. It's falling apart though. I mean, literally just like, I, I don't know. Oh. Anyway, oh look, there's more duct tape. We had a binder like this before, didn't we? All right, well, we got 87, 87 tops in this one. And, um, yeah, the binder's just falling apart. There we go. All right, let's get into this one. 87 tops. Let's see if we can zoom in here. There we go. We'll get a little bit better pictures for you. And let's get going. We're already a minute in and haven't even talked about one card yet. So here we go. La dee dee, la dee dee. Let's pop this out and pull these out as we do them because that's what we do. The binders go right in the trash. Nobody important on that. As a matter of fact, there's a couple of cards jammed into each one of these sleeves again. Yay, yay, yay. 25 cents for this Terry Pendleton. All right, what do we got next page? Well, we got a couple of Tim Raines. So we got five. Tim Raines on this one. That's, look, they're a quarter piece. It might be a nickel a piece now, today's prices. Uh, let's see here. We keep going here, keep going here. Nobody there. We don't have, I thought I was going to say Paul O'Neill, but that's Dan Pasqua, who had uh, that number before Paul O'Neill came along. However, we do have a Dan Pasqua uh, traded. Uh, or, oh, it's, um, it's Opeachy, hidden in the back side of this, is an Opeachy Dan Pasqua, how do you like, how do you like me now, oi, no, you didn't have to perform any emergency C-sections, but here we go, we have, uh, there we go, it is Opeachy Dan Pasqua. Very nice. We'll set that off to the side since we got it out now. All right. So there you go. We got Dan Pasqua. OPT. And we've got some Steve Garvey's here. Very nice. Very nice. Here we go. Oh, we got um, Eddie Murray in here. Very nice. Yes, indeed. Very, very nice. Eddie Murray. And who we have here? Nobody. We got Vita Blue, Joe Carter, and we've got Sparky Anderson. Very nice. And we got here, we got Teddy Higuera. Whoop, whoop. And who do you have here? Lamar Hoyt was a decent pitcher back in his day. Late Maury Wills up here. Rest in peace, Maury. Or Murray, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, Keith Hernandez, whopping 25 cent price tag on it. Andre Dawson for a whopping quarter as well. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Slide these over a little bit. And nobody there. You got George Brett. He's demanding 30 cents. And Goose Gossage is requiring 20 cents to possess him. Next page, we have Fedo, Fernando Valenzuela. Fedo. There goes Fedo. And nobody here. How about here? Anybody important? Not really. Okay, really exciting binder we got going on here. We do have a Dale Murphy times three in this one. That's a little uptick. There we go. Getting a little excited again for this binder. And let's see how long that lasts. We're down to nobody. Who we got here? Nobody. Let's like Rob Deere. 
And next page, we have a Dusty Baker. That's it. Next, we got Keith Hernandez All-Star Card. Ozzy Smith All-Star Card. Times two, we got Tony Gwynn. And we've got um, Dave Parker. Can't forget about Steve Sachs All-Star. We've got Strawberry All-Star. Carter All-Star. Fado All-Star. Uh, Worrell and Tony Bernazard All-Star card. And then let's see, we've got um, Bernazard again. we got Jim Rice, Kirby Puckett times three. George Bell, Dave Rags Rigetti. Man, this one is just chock full of Kirby Puckets. Let's see, how many Kirbys can you fit in one pocket of a nine-page pocket? There we go. Ready? How many Kirbys are in that one alone? All right, we've got, and each one is penny loaded, penny sleeved. One, two, three, four, five there. But wait, we're not done here. Do we have five in this one or less? Let's see. Pull these out. Set them right there. Get the rest of these out. All right, so we got one, two. Three, four, and five more. But wait, we might as well see if there's five in this one. Oh, that one came out pretty easy. Must only be four in here. Let's see. No, oh, it could be right on the four. One, two, three, and four. Fourteen Kirby Pocket All Star cards in three. Three, three pouches of a nine pocket page. Very nice. Way to go. And we've got just as many checklists in here. Jammed in here. There's Dutch Dalton. And let's see who we got here. Herbeck. And he's got a lot. He's got at least five or six jammed into this one too. Let's see. See if we can beat five. This seems pretty thick. But again, the penny sleeves are the... Um, the killer. We could probably fit 10 cards in here if we wanted to. One. Two, three, four. We have a new record. Five, six, seven. Holy cow. Seven. Seven. Wow. That's a new record. And other than that, we've got nobody else there. Uh, let's see, this page here is really nobody. Bob Dernier, I guess. And we've got Kurt Gibson, Jack Morris, and ladies and gentlemen, that is it. And this, this whole page here is pretty heavy. That's it for this Filthy Binder Friday, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't get to hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. You know how it goes. And with all that being said and done, guys, let's fan these babies out. Let you have another look at them. Don't forget Kirby and the Kent Herbex. Seven. Jammed it to one penny sleeve. And there's your challenge for the week. How many cards can you jam in a nine pocket page? All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Boom Time. Signing out saying peace, everybody. We'll see you, Kent, in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.